Is now a bad time to mention that I have an allergy to falling from great heights? <laughs> like, I know I spend all day fighting giant birds and avoiding giant sharks and talking to farm animals, but this brain is not smooth or swollen. Okay, I'm not clueless or concussed. I am a survivor who is about to die of dehydration. You gotta be kidding me right now, but no! <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Raft, where for today's episode, the long-awaited Chapter 2 has finally been released, which means we should have places to go, and hopefully people to see. Now, I know it's been months since we finished Chapter 1, and I've been playing this game for years, so there's a good chance some of you have no idea what's going on or don't remember everything, so let me fill you in real quick. This all started with us waking up alone and stranded on a piece of wood in the middle of the ocean. But by scavenging resources, not only did we manage to build ourselves a shelter, but also a receiver. We then followed a signal to an old radio tower where we didn't find any people, but we did find coordinates for where they may have gone next, as well as clues about some kind of catastrophe that's covered most of the planet in water. Now those new coordinates led us to a scuttled yacht where once again the crew was long gone, but coordinates left behind pointed us to Balboa Island. We ended chapter one having found dry land and an abandoned relay station with even more coordinates. Now I know our journey so far has been a little depressing, but you need to look at the bright side of things. Like not only has every single location we visited help uncover the mystery about what's going on in the world, but they've each provided us with something really important for surviving. Like the yacht had given us engines, which have been a godsend. You know, now there's no more paddling around the ocean or hoping the wind is pointing in the direction that we need to go. And the radio tower had given us a better ability to track things. Now we're not roaming aimlessly. We go directly towards our next objective. And Balboa Island well, technically gave us these idiots. <laughs> We're still important, okay? You gotta have someone to talk to out here, otherwise you're gonna go ocean crazy. But I think today we're heading toward Caravan Town. And I'm not 100% sure what that means, but I'm all for the chance of dry land and physical human contact. Well, the ocean seems pretty calm, and it's not even 9 o'clock in the morning, so I think this is the perfect time to set sail. I've done enough sailing in the middle of the night or during storms and passed by important places in the past, so we're just going to go ahead and punch in 8191 and then be on our way. Why are there two locations? We've got one southeast that's about a kilometer away, and then one south west-ish that's like two kilometers away. Have I already been to one of the two? I swear to God, if I go to the nearest one and it's the place that I've already been, I am gonna lose my mind. No, 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 wait, hold on. I should be able to... There you go. We wanna go to the blue one. You gotta have a real wrinkly brain to figure these things out. And, you know, build a radar out of a microwave and some Pringles cans. <laughs> okay, so we're going in... That-ish direction. Got it. Don't want to waste any more of my mayo tub battery. Let's see if we can get this thing moving. I think we're going to keep the sail pointing forward for now and the engine's off. I'm just going to weigh anchor and see if we can pull out. Oh, yeah. My pull-out game is strong. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> that looks pretty good. So, that direction. I'm pretty sure. We'll figure out the bearings as we go. Let's get these engines up and running. I should be able to activate them all, and then they'll work in tandem. If you only have one going, then it's pretty crap. <laughs> My home is too heavy. There we go. Now we're cruising. Buckle up, folks. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that heading. Now, I know even with four engines in a sail, we're moving at the speed of smell. But the point is, we're moving directly towards our target, and I don't want to waste too much battery. I'm pretty sure I've got some more batteries lying around somewhere, but at the same time, it's very difficult to keep up with fuel. Oh, crap. I'm assuming that I have enough fuel in each of you to actually reach our destination. You take planks anyway, we should be fine. I've clear-cut pretty much 
every land that I've seen. Excuse me, Barbara, no freeloaders, thank you. And here I was about to say that sailing at night is actually kind of serene. You know, I give a crap, but it is quiet. You got all the torch light and stuff like that. But no, of course, it's gonna piss rain out. We found some kind of island. I don't think that's our destination. Nope. Seeing a whole lot of destinations, but that's definitely not one of them. We're gonna hit that, though. <laughs> I do not need to lose an engine or two. Let's just turn ever so slightly. Or should we go over there? I don't think that's a good noise to come from an engine. Holy crap, uh, I kind of want to go over there. Yeah, screw it, uh, let's just weigh anchor real quick. Worst case scenario, I, I can cut some logs or something like that. Uh, everything turn, turn off, turn off. We're just gonna wait out the storm here, okay? I know it's not optimal, but at the same time, I really don't want to drown. This island wouldn't be dangerous, would it? I mean, it's got bees, but I've got fried seagull. I don't think I can defend myself from bees. Ooh, I could make a new friend though. I don't have a net can and I lost it, crap. Okay, well, we're gonna collect any resources that we see here. Maybe cut down a few trees and then once the sun comes up, I'll get to sailing again. That's a little weird. I somehow doubt that the bees made this see what's going on with this island. Maybe we can find a hermit to stab and take his things. Oh, oh, it's a pig. Hi, piggy. Are you, you don't look nice. Okay, okay, let's just, everyone calm down. Maybe we can be friends. I don't think he wants to be friends. <laughs> All right, then it's your loss. Oh, oh, he's got like pustules. Yeah, pigs shouldn't have pustules, that's bad bacon. I'm definitely gonna eat you though, pustules and all. I don't think he made those stairs either. He may have eaten whoever made the stairs, which is a real concern, but... <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, hold on a second, I gotta take off my light. I don't wanna waste that. Interesting. We've got uh, a couple of RVs, weird thing. Oh. Lots of things. We got a fish stew recipe and a bunch of metal and stuff. That's not too bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would much rather take this thing, but still, it's fine. This was an interesting detour. We saw some new stuff, but I've got to get back to my vacation destination. Okay, way anchor and get the hell out of here. Everyone's still here? We're all good? Just doing a quick head count. I really don't like leaving you guys alone with Barbara for too long. <laughs> but at the same time, it just has to be done. Let's see how we're doing. I'd imagine we're within a kilometer now. Yeah, okay, 820-ish meters. So we're well on our way. Engines should be able to get us there. I'm running a little bit low on food. I need, oh no, that's not food. I'm actually getting thirsty. We got plenty of water. It's the one thing I can actually manage out here is turning seawater into drinking water. Feel bad about that. Oh, I should check out this uh, recipe that I got. We got head broth, fruit compo, shark dinner. Oh, okay, so we don't have fish stew. So I put fish stew right uh, there. Okay, so if we mix an egg, some milk, and some fish, we get fish stew. I can get all those things from you guys. Uh, don't really want to milk anything right now, to be honest. It's just a mutual respect. Crewmates don't milk one another. Should I be at all concerned that we've been heading in a straight line towards our destination for two days now? Except last night, the moon rose on our right. Tonight, the moon rose on our left. And I'm seeing UFOs. Interesting. Uh. I use my pro. Oh, there's another one. Oh no, maybe those are just stars. Are the stars bonkers out here tonight or what? I gotta check the GPS or whatever you wanna call it. It's close enough to a GPS. We're still kinda going in the right direction. We need to turn a little bit, but we're getting there. Just constantly feel like I'm lost, like I should be following a North Star, except we've got dozens of them. I see something. I would assume that is our destination. Okay. Question is, what 
what is it? it it's an island, but it looks like a trailer park? <gasps> Please tell me I didn't just travel three kilometers by burning garbage on my raft to reach some kind of floating trailer. Actually, I'm fine with the floating trailer park. I am more than happy to meet some trailer folk right about now. I hope I can park in there. Did I just see something scurry across the beach? What are the odds that's people? Probably not people, right? I just assume that everything wants to kill me. Let's just weigh anchor here and take a look around. Jesus Christ. What was that? Something just hurt me. Something gave me the bad touch on my home. What the hell? Guys, what was that? Everyone get inside. Oh, you giant feathered son of a... Oh, I hate that thing. I already killed you, Scary Terry. Why are you back at it again? What am I going to do other than get stuck under the stairs? No, we're not going to pull a Harry Potter. i got to kill this thing. I've got, what, like 14-ish arrows? Sun is coming up. What are the odds is blind at sunrise? <laughs> Not great. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go and, and explore the island. I, I don't need this crap right now. <laughs> just please don't hurt my friends. That's all I ask. Something tells me there aren't gonna be too many people left alive if that thing is still here. Which... Okay, you're really pissing me off now. No, we're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> Suck on this, you feathered mini boss. Yeah, that's what I'm ow, talking about. <laughs> all right, well, that's one shot. Fortunately, I'm wearing armor, so it's not gonna crush my skull immediately, but it's only a leather helmet, so <laughs> it's not gonna matter all that much against boulders. Like, I don't have all day here. Oh, that's too good. Ouch, shots. God damn it. I don't have enough roof to dodge. How many boulders does this island have? Seriously? Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you can suck it, Terry. Give me my arrows back first, and then I'm going to eat your ass. <laughs> no, not in the way that you want, though. Trust me. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. You're different. We got a bunch of white feathers, some drumsticks. White screecher head. Okay. Well, we'll be sure to mount that sooner rather than later, but... Right now, I'm losing daylight. We gotta get moving. I was about to say this is interesting. They've got some kind of pedal bike hooked up to a tube that goes real deep underwater. I don't really want to go down there, though, because I know Barbara is never far, but... Oh, we've got notes here, actually. My name is Sanjay. I think I'm in trouble. If you find this, don't tell my pa or Dedos. Dedos went down into the water to test his diving suit. We made it using a bike and an old diving helmet. Dedo put weights in his suit to go down, but he put in too much. We've been pulling, but he must have caught something. The older kid said we should stop so we don't cut off the hose. He won't let me go for help. Sanjay ran off crying as soon as they dragged me out. Very unprofessional. Underwater won't work. So much kelp you can't see. Loads of boats and debris, but they're too far down and Sanjay is too scared. The older kid says they eat kelp where he's from. Maybe underwater won't be such a big loss. So it's some kind of diving suit and they weren't able to recover anything. So there might still be something juicy down there but I don't have a suit of my own, and I don't really want to screw with this right now in shark-infested water. <laughs> I mean, now that the land isn't bird-infested, we should probably be working our way up somehow. Just need a little hardcore parkour. Oh, this is interesting. So we can actually find items in all of the drawers and cubbies of these trailers. But we're going to have to carefully go through everything and make sure that there's nothing important being missed. Definitely some kind of technology here that we can take with us. Like a chair. I could use a chair. Why can't I? I, I wish I could take so much of this stuff. You don't understand. <laughs> I could have a full kitchen set on my boat. That'd be amazing. I, I should be living the life right now. But instead, I'm just crawling up, picking up bottles and crap. I spent the whole day searching through this place and haven't found Bupkiss. I'm starting to think that these aren't trailers, though. It looks like they were built out of shipping containers which would make a whole lot more sense on the ocean. I can't imagine it's easy to get a bunch of extra wide trailers up a mountain. <laughs> We're getting some elevation now. That looks somewhat important. I 
kind of want to wait until day to go all the way up, though. We can keep exploring over here. What do we have behind this door? Oh. Oh! Can I take that? A table saw would be incredibly useful! What am I saying? I don't have enough electricity to run a table saw. I've got mayonnaise batteries, and I'm apparently starving to death. Of course I am. Eat and drink and keep looking around. What do we got in here? Leftovers. Something tells me I don't want their leftovers. I want their furniture. I got really excited for a table saw. Hello. Hi. I don't suppose you've seen any people around, have you? You want to come with me? I've already got friends like you. Requires one explosive powder. Why? Looks like a bomb. I'm sorry, what? Ditto's Experimental Journal, Attempt 733. Those raft men said there's barely any dry places left. Caravan Town is the biggest patch of dry land they've seen. Apparently, the entire planet is wet. But there are other planets. Pa helped me weld the rocket together, and Liang and Heng provided the fireworks. Pa had to apologize to everyone for the explosion. They took away my tools. Everyone ran as soon as the explosion happened, and Pa had to apologize to everyone. Cowards, all of them, except Sanjay. Good helper, Sanjay. So if I can get my hands on explosive powder, I can go to a different planet? There's no way that's gonna work, right? Do I have explosive powder? I don't think I do, because I need to kill one of these things, which is incredibly difficult, but probably possible, so long as my boat doesn't shake apart. Right, because I'm willing to bet there are gonna be some at the bottom of this, and I'll be able to breathe down there and fight them. I'll do that when the sun comes up. You know what? I, I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Well, I tried to sleep, but I woke up at like four o'clock in the morning. Sun's up at least, but it's because I'm bobbing around like a turd in a bowl. It's just ridiculous. I could keep exploring the island, but I really want to find explosive powder. Actually, there might be fireworks lying around. I'm gonna go ahead and drink and eat and everything like that. Then we're gonna get back to the top, see if we can actually find something that goes boom. Is now a bad time to mention that I have an allergy to falling from great heights? <laughs> like, I know I spend all day fighting giant birds and avoiding giant sharks and talking to farm animals, but this brain is not smooth or swollen. Okay, I'm not clueless or concussed. I am a survivor! <laughs> who is about to die of dehydration. You gotta be kidding me right now, but no! <laughs> I gotta go the whole way back! I don't even know if I can get back! Right, because I, I, I can only, like, tippy-toe. Maybe I can make this jump? Oh, there's a fat chance. Well, fingers crossed. <laughs> Close enough! Yeah, we're gonna go with close enough. Okay, hold on. Even when you know it's not gonna fall apart, it's just as bad the second time across. <laughs> now let's see what this middle spire has to offer. I would imagine this is where we're gonna find the important stuff, such as any survivors, or more likely coordinates, again. <gasps> like, we're looking for Utopia, right? That's the biggest thing. We saw that there were like cities on the backs of ships. Something tells me this is not Utopia. What do we have here? Junji, you drifted close to us from afar. I wish we'd let you in sooner. Ariel, we were harder on you than you deserved. Sorry. Alia, I held on as long as I could. Please forgive me. Dinny, please wait for me. The boy, Hillman fought like a man. We could not be more proud. You never even gave us your name, but you helped us greatly. May we see you up ahead. Dad's hook. Please take care of it. So, is this supposed to be some kind of graveyard? Because it really feels that way. Or is it arts and crafts class? That's interesting. Something about the big rat sea race and making them work. 
I don't know what any of that means, but this kind of looks like a model. You know, like a diorama, like some kind of bubble city, and then there are a bunch of boats going to it. That's really interesting. Maybe that's Utopia? Is there anything else lying around? Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, uh, what exactly are you? Requires three zipline parts. Oh. Okay, so we might be able to get around this place on zipline. I, I saw a bunch of cables around. If we can find the parts, we've got more notes. Sailing is one. The raft towns of Indonesia, the flooding of Jakarta, and the loss of most of the Philippine mainland have led to escaping locals creating floating cities put together from drifting vessels as they make their way to land. We just make do, said Siapta Giam, one of the earlier adopters of the raft towns, when inquired by one of our reporters about their living conditions. Drifting largely on sea currents, they appear to be growing at a steady rate, raising considerable concerns with coastal authorities who believe them to be a possible maritime hazard. Despite these concerns and their hasty design, many believe these raft towns could very well be viable alternatives, following recent rumors that foremen are employed in creating sanctuary cities in the North Pole on behalf of rich investors. When asked for comments, well, that is definitely interesting. Sanctuary cities in the North Pole, you say? I think we've had some kind of clue about that before, but that's definitely spelling it out. So we want to head to the North Pole. I see. So if I want to get around easily, I'm going to need to get myself a zip line. Question is, where am I going to find one? Maybe in the mayor's house? Oh no, I got a zip line over there. Well, no wonder so many people died around here. This isn't exactly safe. They don't have railings or anything. I guess I'm just gonna have to explore all of these homes and hope for the best. Hand goods, you say? Jesus Christ, that thing prancing out of the darkness nearly made me crap out my heart. Will you please stop that? Just, just go, go away, get out of here. I could definitely use some canned goods. I could can him if I really needed to. Oh, uh, I think somebody ate all of Bob's beans already. No, I, I might not have a can opener, but... I would still appreciate just the sentiment of things. Crap. Can't imagine we're gonna find anything too fresh in the bread and bakery, but you never know. Maybe somebody left a loaf behind. I would sure appreciate it. Or even the ability to make bread. Why would I not want to take a frying pan and, and all this stuff? It just doesn't add up. Pisses me off so much. I, I want this entire kitchen set. I want this game to be more like The Sims and less like Stranded Deep. Lamar's legumes, so yummy. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna find a whole bunch of delicious veggies in here, or maybe even more rope and copper and random crap that I could find at sea. This is completely useless. I haven't even found, oh, red chairs. No, I, I haven't even found any kind of pieces for the zip line yet, but I've been looking around for what feels like ages. So many play, oh, meat. Yeah, you know what? There might be some meat lying around. Let's check around here. Anything? Oh, oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, well, fortunately, I found a little food. Watermelon, good. Baked potato, good. <laughs> I don't even realize when I find food. Uh, I don't know if I can get into the meat shack. You think? Oh, here we go. Okay, what do you got for me, meat shack? It looks the exact same as all the other ones. And there's gonna be nothing. I could, I, I could use a knife. What do you mean? I could tie it to the end of a stick and plunge it in a barber's heart. No, of course not. I think this might be a lost cause. Ooh, here's something spicy. Battery charger part. I've been looking for a way to recharge my Mayo batteries for ages now. If I can rebuild a battery charger, that would be awesome. It's only one part though. Right now, they're pretty much just nip clamps for the time being. Oh, we got another. I keep finding notes. I'll read them later. I'm not going to spend any more of this time today reading, but I definitely want to keep hardcore parkouring around to see if we can find more important stuff. It's easier said than done. Well, there's no doubt about it. I definitely need to figure out the zip line if I want to get over to the mayor's house. And there has to be something there because the giant mutant pigs are guarding it. <gasps> I just don't know what. I feel like I've been looking around forever and this place is endless or 
bottomless even. I wonder if I should try diving down. Yeah, how about we do that? Can I just, uh, ooh, take a shortcut? I should be good on food and water for a while, so let's equip our oxygen bottle and our flippers and see if we can actually get down here without suffocating. I don't know if I can get air out of this tube at all. Like, do I need to find a part for the bike? It wouldn't really matter, because nobody can be up there. Oh, okay, I really need to kill you. Please, please die. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't you pop. I need the explosive powder. Give me all the explosives, please. Are you, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes, I think we're good. Can I, oh, wait, I'll get my metal arrows first, but. Oh, no, Barber, not now, not now, please. I forgot about you. Yeah, I did get explosive goo. Good, great. What is this? Oh, that's interesting. So I can go deeper. I could find pockets of water. I, I was just kind of instinctively going in here to avoid the shark. <gasps> well then, what else have we got? Get out of here. Maybe I'll go deep enough that you can't follow. Is that possible? Oh, we're going real deep. The pressure is going to make me pop like a balloon. I don't really want to be a meat balloon today. Thank you. Ooh. So far, so good. It's the worst that could happen, right? Other than the whole meat balloon thing. I don't think I'm missing anything down here, right? Just scrap some resources that we probably will get at some point. You can never have too much clay. Oh crap, no, I d please no. I need all the explosive goo I can get, so I gotta pick this fight. Oh, there are so many of them down here, but they're such a rare commodity, but I'm gonna die. <laughs> please die, please die. Okay, good. Now, grab, 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 take you, and then I'm going back or down? Back or down? Oh, we're going back, we're going back. Oh crap, 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 no, no, swim faster. <laughs> Don't give me the meat balloon treatment. Okay. Everything is under control. We're cool, we're calm, we're collected. We're not gonna get hit by the fart fish or the sharks. And it looks like we've reached the end of the line. Uh, infirmary key. I didn't even see an infirmary. Zipline part, that's what I need. And a metal detector? Interesting. Why would I want a metal detector? All right, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. There's one zipline part down. I think I need two more. Seeing anything else around here. Okay, uh, I can't even swim straight up because I'll still pop and probably get the runs. But isn't this like really bad for your blood and your oxygen and your body as a whole? I'm gonna, no, should I get greedy? I'm gonna get greedy. I'm gonna try to kill you real quick. I don't even know if I should be wasting these arrows to be perfectly honest, but explosive powder is just so difficult to get. Or explosive goo, you turn it into powder. Maybe, possibly. We're lucky I might be able to launch a rocket before the end of this episode. <laughs> Definitely got a whole bunch of trophies. Oh yeah, we're fine. No problem at all, we got the surface in no time. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Raft, guys. I was really hoping to get through Caravan Town in one episode because apparently there are more locations with chapter two. I mean, chapter one was a bunch of locations, so you would expect that to be the case, but I just can't find all of this stuff, and I feel like I've been recording for over three hours now. This is already gonna be a pretty long video, so if you guys wanna see another episode of chapter two, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and I'll return for more soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.